One of the principal and most voluminous stars in our local area, the red supergiant star of Antares, sits at the neck of the Scorpion, in the beautiful constellation of Scorpius. But Antares is not the only wondrous star, or indeed sight in this part of our night sky. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we return to our constellation series to take a look at the Scorpion constellation, one of the most famous of all in our night skies. So, let's get to it. It's usual that scorpions evoke a sense of fear due to their primal and ancient reputation as formidable predators. The distinctive appearance is characterised by sharp pincers and a venomous tail. The instinctive fear of being stung by a scorpion, combined with a mysterious and elusive behaviour, leads unsurprisingly to a natural aversion and apprehension of the creatures. These feelings find a counterpart in the fiery persona of Alpha Scorpii, better known of course as Antares. In the coming millennia, Antares will mirror the chaos of its namesake by transforming into a supernova, unleashing havoc in its cosmic vicinity. But Antares isn't the only terrible, yet captivating star in the constellation. Indeed, the strangely named star of Shubba is sometimes known as the jewel of the scorpion's claw. Shubba holds a distinctive blue-white brilliance that contrasts starkly with Antares' warm red glow. Nestled within the curve of the scorpion's tail, Shubba, Delta Scorpii, is Scorpius' second brightest star, and indeed the 77th brightest star in the night sky. Shubba is actually a binary star system, which you'll find is a bit of a theme around this constellation. The primary star, Delta Scorpii A, a B-class subgiant that's surrounded by a disk of material spun off by the rapidly rotating star, a huge 13 solar masses, while the secondary star in the system, Delta Scorpii B, orbits every 10.5 years in a highly elongated elliptical orbit. It appears to be a normal B-class main sequence star. The fascinating globular cluster, Messier 80 or M80, is situated within the Scorpion's claw as well. Located within our Milky Way, at around 32,000 light years from us, this incredibly dense cluster comprises several hundred thousands of stars bound together by gravity, with a spatial diameter of around 95 light years. You might use your imagination to imagine just how tightly packed these stars are together. Indeed, it ranks among the densest globular clusters in the entire Milky Way, and averages as many as 22 stars per light year squared. Moving on, and I'll admit it, I downplayed the dangers of scorpions. Antares is not the only star at the point of going supernova. It's almost poetic that the stinger in Scorpio's tail, the beautiful star of Shaola, is right at the point of stopping hydrogen and helium fusion in its core, which means it too is about to go big time. A mass of around 11 solar masses, it could explode in a supernova just like Antares. Shaola is therefore a star on the edge in many ways, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Indeed, there may be a possibility that one day before it goes supernova, Shaola may turn into a thorn Zyko object. This is an object formed when a neutron star collides with a larger star, typically a supergiant, which it swallows entirely. Don't forget to check out our Shaola video for more information on that particular, yet intriguing event. The Scorpius constellation is visible from different parts of the planet, depending on the time of year and the observer's latitude, but it's primarily a southern constellation, and unsurprisingly is most easily seen from locations in the southern hemisphere. The closer you are to the equator, the higher the Scorpion appears in the sky. For observers in the Northern Hemisphere, Scorpius is definitely a challenging constellation to see because it hugs the southern horizon and is often obscured by the horizonal buildings. In some northern latitudes beyond northern Spain or the southern United States, it may not be visible at all. Let me know in the comments below if you can see it wherever you are located in the world. The star of Akrab is famous for being the scorpion's head. Designated as Beta Scorpii, Akrab's name is another that originates from an Arabic word, this time for scorpion. Another radiant blue star, Akrab is the 92nd brightest star in our sky and has an apparent magnitude of plus 2.5. Akrab is yet another multiple star system and is comprised of at least four huge components, all of which range from 3.5 times more massive to as many as 15 times more massive than our sun. Akrab is indeed a very complicated system that perhaps deserves its own video in its own right. In ancient mythology and folklore, Scorpius, interestingly, was a giant scorpion sent by Gaia to Earth to slay the giant Orion when he threatened to slay all the beasts of the world. Like the constellation of Orion, Scorpius also has many important stars. The intriguing Theta Scorpii, or Sargas, completes the quintet of principal stars in Scorpio, 
around 320 light years away and positioned near the scorpion's body, Sargas shines with a distinctive yellow-white radiance with a mass of 3.1 times that of the sun. It radiates 1400 times as much luminosity and unsurprisingly, giving it the yellow-white hued glow, it's classified as an F02 star or yellow giant. Sargas's name is derived from the Latin term for noose or lasso and a fitting reference to its placement near the celestial creature's grasp. Beyond the principal stars, Scorpio also presents observers with a treasure trove of deep sky objects. Notable examples, for example, are U Scorpii, which is the fastest known nova with a period of about 10 years, and indeed, also interestingly, the star of Sigma Scorpii, or Al Niyat, which is a ginormous star of over 18 solar masses. After being a stable plus 2.3 magnitude star, Al Niyat strangely flared in July 2000 to a plus 1.9 magnitude in a matter of weeks. It's since become a variable star, fluctuating between plus 2 and plus 1.6 apparent magnitudes. This means, albeit rarely, at its very brightest, Al Niyat becomes the second brightest star in Scorpius, a blue-white giant star with a very violent nature indeed. In folklore, the Scorpius constellation has a theme of violence, and the Scorpion was sent to kill Orion. In a strange twist of fate, the Scorpius constellation's principal stars of Antares, Shaula, Shubba, Akrab and Sargas are every bit as interesting, if a little bit less famous, than their Orion counterparts. These celestial bodies enrich our night sky with their diverse colours and intricate systems, but Scorpio also provides us with many interesting locations, like the densely packed M80 globular cluster. As we gaze at the brilliance of Antares, the mystery of Shaula, the contrast of Shubba, the radiance of Akrab, and the allure of Sargas, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring beauty and complexity of our universe. Viewed at its finest from the Southern Hemisphere, when we encounter a scorpion creature in real life, we look at it with fear and uneasiness, but also with awe and respect. Its namesake constellation is no different, and is a wonderful reminder of our eternal quest to understand not only the celestial wonders that surround us, but life itself. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so, and if you have any videos or subjects that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments, and it could be your idea at some point that shows up. Take good care of yourselves and look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.